a very good evening uh, to you all uh, dear brothers uh, and sisters in christ so we thank our uh, heavenly father and the lord and savior jesus christ for giving this uh, wonderful opportunity to discuss uh, his wonderful love uh, words of life especially from last week uh, we have been studying uh, the six uh, the sixth volume uh, written by our uh, brother uh, uh, brother uh, razal so as you all know we have been uh, studying uh, uh, chapter 14 the sundry earthly obligations of the uh, new creation so last week uh, we read uh, the introduction of that uh, chapter so what all things are uh, involved in this uh, chapter what all things are covered uh, by your brother uh, in this chapter and uh, we saw uh, first uh, subheading that is uh, the provide things honest in the sight of all men that is based on the scriptures uh, romans uh, 12 chapter uh, 17th verse so why we should uh, provide things uh, honest in the sight of all men last week we saw uh, what is the reason that is given uh, this actually generally applies to the whole mankind uh, they need to be very cautious uh, and uh, they need to uh, live a life which is reasonable <clears throat> which is uh, brings glory to our god so that applies to the whole uh, mankind but uh, it uh, in fact applies uh, uh, much more uh, to the new creation who has uh, listened to the truth who has understood god's character so in each and every uh, path of his life in each and every conduct of his life uh, you see it is necessary that we reflect uh, god's character so hence uh, you see we see the import uh, and the importance of that uh, a verse uh, that much more applies to uh, the new creation so wherever is possible the new creation you see though it might be among the brethren among their family or in the workplace or among the world also so as much as possible you see we need to uh, live a honest life okay so we have been uh, study till uh, here so last week also the brethren have revised the same things uh, you see in nepali so today uh we will continue to <coughs> read uh, in english uh, as the uh, brother suggested uh english uh, would be more uh, preferable to read uh, in the volumes uh, so i hope uh, everybody are comfortable in reading english uh, from the volume everybody are okay joel brother munna sister romi sister and amar brother okay brother okay then okay, okay sir a uh, good so i hope you all have the volumes so it's from uh, page 563 from the sixth volume uh, anyway i'll be sharing uh, the screen also uh, i hope you are all able to see the screen yes we can see brother we can see now one yes, minute brother. i'll try to increase the font size also so now it's more comfortable than before yes brother okay one minute okay so okay you uh, anybody has got the volumes they can read from the volumes or uh, if anybody prefers to uh, read from the screen also that's not a matter so there is no obstacle in the screen everybody are comfortable are able to see everything correctly brother yes brother we are seeing it okay okay then uh, beginning uh i request uh, Ah, uh, Romi sister, can you read the first paragraph? Beginning from all mankind, should recognize. Okay, brother. All mankind should recognize the principle of the justice of uh, righteousness in their dealings with each other. But new, but the new creature, because of receiving. special instruction upon this principle of divine law in the school of christ should be much more alert than other in respect to the exercise of these qualities in the affairs of daily life is it proper is it right that all men should provide things decent and honest in the sight of their uh, fellow creatures 
assuredly this is so and assuredly therefore the responsibilities of the new creature in this direction are by his advanced position increased are other men expected to be honest trust truthful upright honorable generous the lord's people surely might be expected to have still keep near instinct along all these lines and to be striving daily to a major measure up the perfect under, uh, standard in thought and word and conduct uh, thank you sister very good so uh, in this paragraph uh, uh, our dear brother uh, brings out the reason as to why uh, you see the new creation uh, should be you see uh, owing to uh, abiding to these rules because uh, there is a something called as principle of uh, justice you see and of uh, righteousness we all know that uh, even our heavenly father uh, you see who is uh, very kind and merciful very loving and always forgiving you see always full of compassion but yet uh, you see the god's uh, you see uh, foundation of his throne is uh, justice and truth uh, can somebody read that verse from psalms 89 14 brother is it somebody possible for somebody to read psalms uh, 89 14 <laughs> If you are comfortable in reading Nepali also, it's not a problem. Uh, Psalm 89. 14. 14. Okay. Ah. okay. Then though you speak in uh, reason to thy holy one and said, I have laid... No, no. No, no, brother. Psalms 89, 14. Is it correct? Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Very good. You see, so this verse clearly says justice and judgment at the habitation of thy throne. You see, so what is God's, uh, you see, uh, foundation of his justice? Uh, this means the foundation of his throne. That means the entire universe, the entire creation which God has created, it is completely based upon justice first. And next, uh, you see, it is uh, mercy and truth. Even uh, in the tabernacle, we have studied uh, about the mercy seat. You see, so the two angels which were uh, looking directly upon the mercy seat, always ready to fly. Why were they looking uh, at the mercy seat? You see, they were seeing whether God's justice will be satisfied or not. Once God's justice is satisfied, you see, immediately the other two characters of God, you see, that is the, uh, you see, love and power, we are always ready to, uh, you see, do their uh, responsibilities. But before that one, before uh, his power or before his love can be expressed, you see, justice has to be satisfied. We can see this one uh, in entire creation of God. You see, we have especially seen that one in the divine uh, Penalty which God gave to Adam when God when Adam sinned, you see God uh, pronounced uh, him a simple uh, judgment, saying, uh, "Dying, thou shall die." You see, it was just a small fruit uh, that uh, Adam had ate. But even then, God could have easily forgiven him. You see, uh, it was not a great matter that so many fruits were there, but yet. Uh, that, uh, you see, was the foundation of his justice. If God would have forgiven Adam at that moment, you see, he would have uh, trusted uh, the word of the adversary, the words of the serpent, than the words of God. You see, hence, uh, God had to implement uh, his justice in that way. Therefore, dear brethren, 
you see the principle you see that is uh, in the universe in the entire creation especially with god is justice so as new creations you see we have understood these things from the word of god from our basic classes and all so god doesn't violate his justice and do anything so if something has to be done first of all justice is required so once the justice is uh, you see fulfilled then really different all the other things uh, happens so as new creatures we need to exercise the same quality of our heavenly father you see the bible clearly says you see what say what does jesus say jesus said in matthew 5th chapter be you like uh, your heavenly father uh, read matthew uh 5 matthew 5 uh 45 that uh 48 48 sorry 548 brother sorry okay brother noise be therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect okay be you perfect that means what completely match everything or copy everything sir like uh, from your father you see generally it's habit of children no to imitate uh, their parents or uh, imitate their father or mother you see that's a general habit uh, whenever they try to play they try to play as if there are uh, you see they behave like their parents and all so where do they copy they copy it from their parents so similarly as god's children we need to implement uh, this uh, in our life uh, the first thing you see that has to be implemented is uh, you see the justice uh, you see so after justice comes uh, you see love power and wisdom so dear brethren so uh, the exercise of these qualities is to be found in uh, all our daily life so based on these things if you put a question is it is it necessary or is it uh, uh, reasonable to live a honest life in front of fellow creatures yes that is absolutely necessary because as last week we saw it brings glory to our god and moreover so what do we expect as human beings uh, in uh, with our dealings uh, with our people of this world we expect them to be sincere we expect them to be you see a uh, reasonable honorable you see generous and uh, proper like for example if you go to a market when we purchase something we expect them to be truthful when we go to a cloth shop you see and uh, if a person tells that uh, this cloth is very uh, a durable one it's a imported one we expect him to be truthful we don't want uh, him to cheat us so that is the same uprightness or the truthfulness you see which we should actually be implementing in our life so these things has to be you see uh, uh, we need to try to implement in our life read one verse in matthew 6 chapter uh, matthew 6 uh, joel brother can you read matthew 6 uh, 33 matthew 6 33 joel brother are you able to read okay brother But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Very good. So here Jesus tells, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Then you see all these things shall be added unto you. So what is this uh, kingdom of God? How do we seek the kingdom of God? You see, and uh, next thing, uh, you see, uh, and its righteousness. So, what are these things? So, we all know kingdom of God is composed of two parts. One is the heavenly part, the heavenly salvation and the earthly salvation. So, as new creatures, which part of the kingdom would we like to be associated? Would we like to be associated with a heavenly part of the kingdom or earthly part of the kingdom? Tell me, who can answer? Brother Amar, uh, 
कुन सेलिब्रेशन में एसोसिएट होना अथवा संबंधित होना अथवा भागीदार हिस्सेदार होना हमी चाहते ब्रदर अमर रूल्स There is going to be a set of regulations. There is going to be a law in God's kingdom where there shall be no evil, where there shall be no wickedness, where there shall be no lies, where there shall be no unrighteousness, injustice, iniquity. So, so that things you see, which is going to be found in God's kingdom, you see, those things as new creatures. we need to implement in our life now you see there is a brother whose name is called as benjamin button i don't know whether you have the books or not but he is a wonderful brother he was one of the best speaker whom brother russell acknowledged you see and brother russell you see in his writings tells that uh, is brother benjamin button is one of the best speaker is ever found and he has written a book uh, pilgrim uh, echoes uh, you see in that one you see uh, he has uh, written a subject about uh, playing kingdom so in that one he explains this verse clearly saying how do we as new creatures enact uh, you see those things in our life uh, that means uh, it, it can be enacted only by you see walking as if you are living in the kingdom so practically our environment would be different but as new creatures you see we need to implement these things in our life and one of the beautiful thing is that you see when benjamin button died brother russell was still alive and he was the one who gave his funeral sermon in that one he mentions clearly this point anyway dear brethren so uh, as new creatures we need to seek god's kingdom how to attain and be part of the la- One lakh forty four thousand. Not only that one, we need to implement those perfect standards of, uh, you see, justice, love, you see, wisdom, and uh, you see, uh, power. You see, in uh, our words, thought, and conduct. Okay, very good. So let us go to the uh, next paragraph. Uh, next paragraph, uh, uh, brother. Uh, Joel, can you read? Okay, brother. <clears> oh, <throat> no man anything but to love one another is the divine rules, as expressed by the apostle. Rome thirteen eight. It would be well if all the world knew of this rule and followed it closely. and we know that in due time just this rule will be rigidly enforced during the millennium age but the new creation has this as its rule now and however others may fail to rec- recognize it and uh, and to follow it the lord's people should obey this instruction implicitly even to natural israel the houses of servants the lord laid down the injunction that if faithful to him they should be lenders not borrowers deuteronomy 15:6 and this principle Com- commands itself to every person possessed of good judgment as being the very essence of wis- wisdom wisdom which it would be well where it possible to apply to the world wisdom which the world 
recognizes, but which comparatively few either of the Lord's people or of the world strangely and better to follow as an invariable rule of life. Thank you, John Brother. So, owe no man anything but to love one another. Okay, let us read that verse, Romans 13, 8. Uh, our brother, can you read Romans 13, 8, brother? Romans. Owing no man anything but to love one other, for he that loved another hath uh, fulfilled the law. Very good. See, this verse says we should not owe any man anything. You see, that means we should not be in debt. That means we should not take any loan. That's what this verse clearly says. You see, uh, if this uh, concept of not taking, uh, you see, any loan from uh, anybody, you see, be implemented uh, in this world, this world would be an entire total uh, different uh, world to live upon. Just think... If the, uh, there, if there is no concept of loan, you see, if there is no bank, uh, you see, who is going to lend any money to anybody, and if there is uh, nobody who can, uh, you see, uh, lend for any other purpose, uh, like for uh, uh, pawn brokers or uh, uh, the persons who take uh, interest, uh, very huge interest and lend some money, if those things are not there, how will this world be? You see, there are two uh, perspective to see this one day. But one thing is that if these things are not there, the people initially might uh, fall into great difficulty, you see, because they might feel that uh, their uh, revenue source, whatever the earnings they are uh, earning, that is not sufficient for them to live. It would be very difficult for them to survive. But if this uh, continues, that means if there is nobody who is going to lend something for other people, what would happen now? You see, the one good thing that is going to happen is that the people will start to live within their own source. If a person is uh, earning 10 rupees, he would try to live within the 10 rupees. Uh, just because there is somebody who is going to lend them money, you see, he is broad enough to, you see, uh, get as many as uh, money as possible. Uh, today, the world is totally different. There are a lot of banks who offer, uh, you see, various types of loans, uh, home loan, education loan, you see, personal loan with a good rate of interest. Because of this one, the business has expanded. You see, a lot of people are doing education. But simultaneously, if you see in this world, there is a lot of huge competition, you see. And uh, uh, in spite of uh, so much of money flowing in this world, is there uh, a comfort? Is there peace of mind? If you see, definitely not, dear brother. You see, just uh, just go back uh, fifty years or sixty years before, when there was no bank who could lend loan just because of mortgaging something or on a guarantee. You see, the world was uh, much more uh, peaceful uh, than what we see today. You see. Our, our dear brother Russell even uh, covers all these things in his fourth volume. We are going to see all those things in the coming days, but God willing. So therefore it says, you see, it would be well if all the world knew this one. You see, and you see, this is what is going to be implemented in the thousand years. Sir. You see, well, we have studied the, the subject about Jubilee. What was given in the Jubilee? You see, there was nothing that is going to be lent out. You see, you, you can't lend any money upon interest. That was forbidden in the law. God had clearly told, you are not going to give your money for interest because they are your brother. If you want to lend, lend them money without expecting nothing. You see, that was the law of the Jubilee. 
Imagine the dear brethren, the things which are mentioned in the Jubilee Law in Leviticus 25th chapter. If those things be implemented in the whole world in a thousand years, how beautiful it will be. Nobody would, uh, you see, take money uh, based on interest, but everybody out of love, they would be helping each other. That's what uh, in Romans uh, 13, 8 it says, For he that loveth one another has fulfilled the law. In God's kingdom, you see, the love is the supreme law. You see, this law, this law of love will be enacted, implemented in this world very strictly. In Revelation book, we see that Jesus will rule with a rod of iron. So that means what? It will be a very strict rule. But what will be implemented in this kingdom? You see, in this kingdom, the rules that will be implemented is love. Everybody should act upon love compulsorily. There is no exception. So that is the rule that is going to be in a thousand years. So if that is what is going to be in thousand years, as children of the kingdom, how do we follow this righteousness? How do we play this kingdom? That's what our brother is trying to tell. That uh, as new creatures, uh, we need to recognize this character. You see, we need to recognize this character of love. Last time we saw, previous paragraph, we saw the character of justice. But now, not only justice, we need to recognize the, the character of love, dear brethren. You see, and... Uh, this is what God told to the people of Israel. When God gave the law to the people of Israel, you see, uh, God had given more than 606 laws to the people of Israel. You see, in that one, God had clearly told, if you obey God's commandments, you see, if you follow each and every path and instructions of God, you shall be a, a blessed nation. You shall be a nation <coughs> Who shall lend to others, uh, but you shall not borrow. You shall be a nation that you will going to rule upon others. Uh, you see, not that uh, you shall be uh, under a bondage of slavery. Uh, let us read Deuteronomy 15.6. Gopal brother, can you read Deuteronomy 15.6 brother? For the Lord thy God blessed thee as he promised thee. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. See, what a beautiful promise, dear brethren. You see, you shall not borrow, you shall be lenders. You see, you shall rule over many nations, but none shall rule over you. Dear brethren, this is the... A result of God obedient. This is the result of being obedient to God's law. You see, what is God's law? You see, God's law is love. So, if you implement that love, you see, automatically what will happen? Uh, these blessings will come to us. Uh, you see, this was the blessings which God had promised to people of Israel. Therefore, when the nation of Israel uh, were obedient to God's commandments, uh, we see that uh, there was abundance of blessings uh, for the people of Israel. Uh, you see, wherever they went, you see, all the enemies uh, ran away. And there is to be a blessed nation. You see, through them, the blessings follow to other nations. You see, but uh, once they violated God's commandments, uh, you see, and failed to keep it up, what happened? Uh, the rivers of it came upon them. Uh, you see, therefore, the new creature, as new creature, we should have some, some bit of wisdom. That means some bit of knowledge. Uh, of what God, you see, desires uh, from the word of God. So, dear brethren, so we have seen justice, you see, we have seen uh, love, and we have also seen, you see, the wisdom of God. So, based on this one, as new creatures, uh, you see, copying the characters of God, uh, we need to, you see, apply all these things as new creatures to our mind. How do we apply it? By keeping these concepts in our mind, you see. Uh, always, uh, you see, our one of our brother, uh, you see, Robert Shekliman, is a beautiful brother. He is also one of the contemporary writers, uh, uh, you see, who has written so many things uh, like Brother Benjamin Barton and Brother Russell. See, our Robert Shekliman says, uh, our uh, mind should be guided uh, by the scriptures. How, how do we uh, guide our mind, uh, you see, upon the scriptures? Uh, you see, our mind should be like a 
you see, uh, a siren it seems. Uh, you see, when ambulance goes, there's a siren that uh, sounds, uh, you see, no? on the ambulance. Wee, 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 wee. So everybody is see, hearing that uh, sound and seeing that light, immediately they'll give, clear the path for that ambulance. Uh, so similarly, whenever we recognize any violation from our scriptures, our mind should immediately alert us. Our mind should immediately warn us. So, as we are warned by the scriptures, we will try to align ourselves, you see, for the God's commandments. So, this is how, as new creatures, we practically apply it in our life. So, uh, nothing works out magic. You see, you can't sit like this one. You can't even think. If you don't think, if you don't study, nothing will go inside. You see, if nothing goes inside, when a certain bit of, uh, you see, uh, situation comes, we will be in a perplexed situation, not knowing what to do. So, for that one, the study of the word of God is very, very important. That's the reason we are studying the volumes. You see, understand it properly. You see, so that we may correctly, you see, follow so many things uh, in our life. Okay. Uh, next paragraph. Next paragraph. Uh, okay. Uh, Munna sister. Munna sister, are you, can you, are you able to read? Is it okay? Okay, brother. Okay. In other words, every member of the new creation should, as respect earthly things, live within his means. If he can earn but a dollar a day, he should not for a moment think of spending more than that. Expect upon the direct necessity, but should adopt his condition accordingly. Until there be a change to more favorable circumstances, Recognize, recognizing that the Lord's providential care is over him and all his affairs, he should, after arranging as wisely as he knows how respect, respecting his temporal matters, conclude that this as well as his spiritual affairs have been subject to divine supervision and that the Lord Uh, Muna sister, you're not able to see the screen. I'll, I'll roll it. Uh, sister, you're there? Uh, brother, she has read until the end. She oh, the screen. oh, is it? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, now it's okay? Yes. Uh, continue, Arnada, Muna. Hmm. Yeah, brother. Uh, Muna, just continue from where you stop. Muna, it's not here. Go for the part of the camera. Stop back. Network issue. Why are you? I think. Okay. So, I'm going to continue. Okay. Uh, recognizing that the Lord's providential care is over him and all his affairs. He, sh he should, after arranging as wisely as he knows how respecting his temporal matters, conclude that these as well as his spiritual affairs have been subject to divine supervision and that the Lord designed a blessing for him in connection with this condition. He should therefore be thoroughly content with them, however trying they may be, waiting patiently on the Lord for such relief as divine love and wisdom may bring in due time. If the income be a liberal one, more moderation should be his rule of conduct in this as in all things. Later, moderation be known unto all men. Economy is a part of the divine arrangement, as exemplified 
by our Lord and the apostles, and particularly illustrated in the matter of the saving of the fragments by order of him who had power to create out of nothing food for a multitude. Thank you, Brother Gopal. So, dear brother, you see, uh, here, uh, Brother Russell continues to give more explanation. In other words, you see, every member of the new creation regarding his earthly life, they should live within their means. You see, so what do you mean by living within the means? See, how much ever we, we have income, we should try to, you see, make our life beautiful, comfortable, sweet in whatever income we have. You see, we should never, uh, you see, go beyond, you see, our income. We should never try to live an exuberant life or a life which is pleasing in sight of everybody and try to please everybody. And for that sake, you see, try to live beyond our means. You see, like for example, if our income is 100 rupees, we need to live within our 100 rupees itself. We should not be spending beyond 100 rupees. Just thinking that, oh, we are living in such a society. What will people think about us? That we are so poor. People will have a false impression about us. People will so everybody will see low about us. As new creatures, you see, we should never think or try to please other men in this angle. You see, our moderation, that means our what? Our uh, 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 lifestyle, you see, our simplicity, you see, should be known to everybody in our lifestyle, dear brethren. Take the example of Jesus. So Jesus was the uh, one, uh, he was a creator. God actually created everything through him. So he was actually in the uh, creative work, dear brethren. God had created everything for him, through him, by him, you see, and for him only. Dear brethren, just imagine when Jesus came to this earth, how simple was his lifestyle? You see, Jesus was born uh, in a simple uh, way. God did not provide any grand thing that uh, he was his uh, only son, he was his only loving son. So he never planned a beautiful, uh, you see, a delivery for him at a great grand hospital. You see, when uh, Jesus was supposed to be born, there was no place for him, you see. So therefore, uh, he was delivered in a manger and therefore, uh, you see, he was placed in an inn. So you, uh, there was no place in the inn where he was born, actually. Jesus was born in an inn and there was no place in the inn. You see, then what happened? Uh, he was placed in a manger. You see, that means a, a place where a uh, calf and all were tied, you see. Uh, we read in the Bible that that was a time when uh, taxes were supposed to be collected. So everyone has to visit their uh, hometown and recognize the name for census and all. You see, but uh, so many people were there in the inn. This was a common place for everybody to uh, sleep in the outside the city. At that time, you see, so it was a very simple uh, lifestyle day. And so even God could have provided uh, plenty just because his son was born. But... Uh, he wanted Joseph and Mary to live within their means. Because as God's son, Jesus had to experience all these things so that he may guide the coming church who was walking in the footpath of Jesus, copy his you see, footmarks and walk on his footmarks, you see, follow him. So Jesus had to be a role model. So, they had to live within their limitations. Even, uh, you see, the food, what Jesus ate. You see, just imagine the taste buds of Jesus. Uh, you see, he was a perfect man. Now, what did he eat uh, when he came to this earth? Uh, he never demanded uh, uh, great fruits, uh, which are in the Garden of Eden. You know, tasty food, uh, tasty fruits and everything, grand things and all. But then, whatever was provided, uh, you see, in that, in that one, you see, Jesus was completely satisfied. So, dear brethren, that's what our brother says. The, the way we spend, you see. Uh, so, that one actually matters a lot. You see, we should try to live within our means. 
So Jesus had a treasurer with him. We know that he had a treasurer in the Bible. You see, he had so many people giving him voluntary offerings and Judas was maintaining these things. Just because he had a treasurer, he had sufficient money, he did not lavishly spend it upon everybody. Every poor person who came, who asked for help, Jesus did not uh, kept on giving money. You see? So, that was not a proper kind to do. So, similarly, dear brethren, you see, just because we have uh, more money also, you see, spending it uh, whichever way we want without uh, even, you see, properly thinking it, uh, that's also not so God's will. Let it be poor, let it be rich, we should balance it properly. Now, what did uh, David pray to the Lord, you know? What did David ask to the Lord? Lord, please don't make me rich. You see, so that I may forget you. Please don't make me poor also. In such a way that I beg and curse you. So, moderate life is a, a beautiful way where we can serve the Lord better. You see, so we need to arrange our affairs of life, you see, based on our income. You see, so imagine our expenses are high. You see, our expenses are beyond our, uh, uh, what do you say, income. In, in that way, you see, we should be very careful to minimize our expenses until Lord, you see, blesses us and opens a door of opportunity so that we can, uh, you see, earn more. You see, until such time, uh, we should uh, patiently wait on the Lord. You see, dear brethren, uh, in fact, to tell, we have seen many brethren in this world, you see, uh, who have suffered a lot as they were uh, coming into the truth. But as, uh, you see, uh, they showed more faithfulness to the Lord, as they tried to live within their limitations, uh, you see, God uh, began to, you see, change their uh, ways. God even began to bless them in uh, many ways uh, so that, uh, you see, uh, they may help uh, other people. You see, therefore, we need to wait upon God's uh, supervision. We all know very well, as Jesus said in Matthew 6 chapter, he clearly says, no, uh, don't take uh, uh, thoughts about what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, what you're going to wear, where you're going to stay. All these things, uh, your father knows. Uh, you see, he gives a comparison about the uh, sparrows. Uh, and he also tells that, uh, don't worry too much, uh, because even each and every hair of your head is counted. Uh, that means, all our uh, small, small matters, which even we don't uh, care about, or our temporary matters, uh, definitely God knows this one. And he will definitely overrule our life in such a way that uh, all our needs are met. I'll give you one more example. Uh, like, uh, you see, uh, Jesus uh, Jesus uh, uh, was uh, never worried about uh, any of his earthly life. Uh, he never worried about uh, how, uh, you see, uh, his burial is going to happen after his death, uh, after his death on the cross. Uh, but yet, uh, God uh, had arranged for it. Uh, you see, Joseph of Aramita, you see, he did not, uh, there is no record in the Bible that he offered something to Lord Jesus Christ when he was alive. But as soon as Jesus died, such a rich person came forward voluntarily to offer the grave, uh, you see, you see, for him. Uh, so that was God's overruling providence. Uh. So similarly, so many, you see, things which we don't know, God is uh, seeing and he overrules everything for our good dear brethren. Think about the great Apostle Paul. He was uh, a great scholar who learned at the feet of Gamaliel, very educated person. But what was the work uh, that Apostle Paul did? Uh, you see, Apostle Paul had a great inheritance of property in his family. He, he mentioned in the Bible that uh, for Christ's sake, he considered everything as loss and dross. You see, but it, uh, you see, he had a talent of uh, stitching like a tailor. And he used the talent, uh, you see, to stitch tents. Uh, those days, tents and all very very uh, common things uh, and they used to uh, use the tent cloth for uh, what do you say uh, for the ships and all uh, to, for the wind to blow and to, the, to move the ships and all so that was good business uh, for Apostle Paul so he used to do the ministry 
earning the money so god temporarily you see uh, blessed his uh, income so that it may be useful for his ministry so in such way god will overrule things for good but until such time you see god's children we need to remain calm and try to live within our means i'll give you one more example in the old testament you see uh, during the days of uh, elia uh, elijah you see elijah comes to a house you see after uh, coming from the brook and he tells uh, what is there uh, in a house there was a woman a widow she had uh, two children and uh, she had nothing to eat she had only one you see uh, a bowl of flour where where she can cook some cakes uh, to so uh, two breads uh, and give it to the children uh, so once when the prophet asks uh, see what do you have she was sincere to tell that uh, i have nothing i have got just two loaves of bread and we and our children are going to eat this one and let it die but what did uh, uh, the prophet say the prophet said first prepare that uh, bread and give it to me you see but in faith uh, that uh, woman gave the bread to the prophet uh, prophet was satisfied he went on his way but uh, we read in the bible that uh, from henceforth uh, you see their house lacked no food that means there was sufficient of food uh, you see in their house so god bless them so similarly dear brethren when we try to live within our means uh, you see control our expenses for the lord's sake you see definitely god will bless us god would never leave us he would never leave us or forsake us that's what the bible says he is supervising each and everything of in our life you see when we sleep without food you see when we sleep with just small things what we have you see god knows our intention god knows our heart you see and definitely God will definitely bring a good situation to brethren. You see, so until such time, it is necessary as God's children that we control our appetites. You see, Apostle Paul tells now, I try to keep my body under. We need to keep it uh, in control. Wait patiently for the, you see, Lord. Uh, you see, Lord knows his time. He will definitely, you see, overrule everything uh, for our good. Uh, see, therefore in the in the in the last uh, you see uh, our brother russell says let your moderation be known to all men see our our uh, though we be poor our lifestyle you see living in uh, in our society should be in such a way that everyone seeing us should uh, you see uh, should be amazed seeing how how though they are poor those they are so simple they do so loving to each other as a family you see that should be giving a good example to our society you see usually when the people are poor and the family is poor there's lot of commotion in the family lot of quarrel for food and basic necessities and all you see there will be misunderstanding in the family there will be loud noises coming from the family that should not be a family of new creation we should try to control ourselves humble ourselves to the lord you see how did uh, ruth humble how did uh, nahomi humble you see they had nothing to eat you see they were just uh, getting some things uh, from the uh, boaz's field you see she was just uh, uh, gathering some fallen grace uh, outside uh, you see his field god had given that law also you see that means uh, during the harvest we should always collect the harvest only from the field but whatever falls outside your field on the border of the field you see the landlord was not supposed to collect those uh, grains fruits they were left to be to be picked by the poor so the poor may have something to eat just see the mercy of god dear brethren who will ever care about these things imagine if there is a beautiful plantation or a farm everybody would put fence if something falls i come give it up but god was uh, more merciful he even thought about the beggars or the poor people who were living in israel you see his eyes were upon ruth you see upon naomi you see because they did not curse god you see 
they realized the unworthiness they realized the mistakes they were waiting for the lord he said dear brother but god blessed them so similarly definitely god will see such a change of situations you see so we need to learn the uh, learn the lesson of economy you see god doesn't spend whatever he has just like that he carefully you see moderates everything he carefully manages everything each and every affairs you see he carefully handles everything you see so similarly we should copy all these things from our master and our great god almighty you see so god doesn't do anything in a very fashionable way where everybody can see it does it in very you see a very humble way where everybody is seeing it appreciates him so jesus fed the 4000 people 5000 people jesus had so much of power dear brethren that uh, just with uh, uh, five bread you see two lo two uh, sorry five bread and two fishes uh, and a few bread and few fishes he he could feed 5000 people and 4000 people means so much of power uh, jesus had but how many times do we read in the bible that jesus exercised uh, this power to eat grand food uh, no dear brethren you see there is no record in the bible that they ate delicious food and all you see whatever was in their means simple food they were satisfied you see and uh, we read in the bible that uh, once uh, jesus fed uh, this multitude 5000 4000 what did uh, uh, jesus say jesus uh, said to the disciples please gather the fragments uh, left over they brought the left over uh, meal you see and uh, jesus did not throw it off uh, you see definitely jesus would have preserved it and used this for his uh, next time opportunity because when uh, he did this miracle you see he asked the people what do you have you see a small child comes uh, and says we have this uh, five loaves and two fishes so similarly jesus taught his disciples the you see the lesson of economy that we should not spend anything which is unworthy to use god's you see supply use god's blessings in a worthyful manner in a very useful manner which brings glory to god though jesus was the son of god he did he did lot of miracles he never did such miracles where uh, you see publicly the people could uh, you see uh, what do you say live a ex- exuberant life neither did the disciples neither uh, you see and the master he did not uh, do some miracle and uh, uh, you see invent uh, what what do you say or uh, do some miracles that uh, camels uh, you see come into existence and he may travel on camels or uh, he may travel on uh, you see donkeys uh, you see he was a very humble person so dear brethren these are examples uh, where we see in the bible that our economy our moderation should be shown to everybody that we live a grand and a living example so this is how you see as new creatures uh, we manifest uh, christ likeness in our life so small small things dear brother and these are not, not great things at all so these small small things uh, if we implement in our life uh, it will definitely be a great grand example so okay so we will stop uh, this study here this week so next week we will continue uh, anybody has got any questions any uh suggestions any questions any doubts you have uh aaja hamile page number 564 english volume ko page number 564 ko second third ra 565 ko first paragraph pani yo sentence har ma aba tapai harle english ma pani sentence bujhna parne avastha aa cha hai kina bhanda yo volume 6 ko sabai chapter translation bhai sakha chaina ali samay lagcha tyo karle garda तपाईले यसले सुरु सुरुमा भोलि मिस्टरको सुरु सुरुमा इंग्लिशको सेन्टेन्सहरु बुझ्नु भयो भने पछि पछि तपाईहरुलाई नै सजिलो हुन्छ यो पेज नम्बर 560 भएको सेकेन्ड थर्ड प्याराग्राफमा तपाईले आफैले पढ्दाखेरि कुनै एउटा त्यस्तो सेन्टेन्स हुन्छ नि त्यो अर्थै नबुझ्ने नेपालीमा बुझ्दा पनि नबुझ्ने अथवा त्यो सेन्टेन्सको तपाईले त्यो अर्थ नजान्नु भएको त्यस्तो केही गाह्रो सेन्टेन्सहरु छ भने सोध्न सक्नुहुन्छ है तपाईले अब चाहिँ डिले नगर्नु अथवा चाहिँ ड्यूमा नराख्नु म पछि बुझाउँला भनेर हुँदैन डिमा यो भोलुम स्टडी अब सम्भव त त्यो सरस्वती जान्छ धेरै छवटा भोलुम छ सरस्वती जान्छ त्यो रिभाइज गर्न पनि भ्याइँदैन होइन अब त्यो अहिले पढ्यो पढ्यो बस 
तो कारण अब हम बिस्तार भी गई रहो तब्यूजन छ टाइम सोधी हाल तब आज को प्याराग्राफर में इंग्लिश सेंटेन्स के बुझ्छे सो ब्रदर जोएल के गोपाल इंग्लिश मेंटेन्स बुझे अवस्था देखा मैं लिवे तब ठीक है ब्रदर राजू आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू आई एम जस्ट क्यूरियस अबाउट पिलग्रीम इकोज वॉज रिटर्न बाई बेन्जामिन बाटर एंड यू सेट एनादर ब्रदर नेम रोबर्ट सप्लीमेंट राइट वॉट्स इज बुक नेम बुक नेम It doesn't have a book name. His name is uh, Robert Shikkeman. The book doesn't have any name, brother. Okay, but anyway, he have written his own articles, like Brother Russell or Brother uh, Benjamin Barton, right? Yeah. Okay. They they were actually they were actually pilgrims during uh, his ministry. So pilgrims. there were a lot of ecclesias. So Brother Russell mm -hmm. used to spend a uh, uh, send uh, speakers. So they used to speak those subjects, and those were made as articles. Mm -hmm. Okay, brother. Thank you. Uh, and one more thing. Uh, see, I'll share this uh, link again. See, I'll sh I'll be sharing this uh, uh, website link. This is uh, the website of a Bible student. See, in this volume, we can see for each and every paragraph. Before the paragraph, there is a question. Like, for example, if you go to the first uh, paragraph, what we studied today. Uh, All mankind should recognize the principle of justice. The question for the paragraph is that: that does the transformation of their minds release the new creation from responsibility towards the fellow man? This is the question. Okay. Now, why I am putting this question? Why I am trying to show you this question? If you read this question, then after reading the question, if you study those answers. uh you will be able to understand uh, the paragraph more clearly so this is as as this is a very initial uh, and the first uh, stages for you uh, i know uh, this language will be very difficult for you even the question that is put there in a uh, english uh, formation the sentence formation is quite uh, uh, what what do you say quite difficult to understand you might have observed the writings of brother russell see is begin is begin the sentence here see uh, you can see the markings He has uh, ended the sentence here. She is such a big sentence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is the style of Brother Russell's writings in the volume. So volumes is very very. What do you say? Um, a larger way of explaining some some things. So some of these paragraphs, there's no sentence at all. Even the big paragraph is is only one sentence. It will take time for you all to understand. No need to worry. We will try to go as slow as possible. This is that is the reason we have cited very simple chapter so that you may able to grasp it once if you understand its taste the way it is written I am telling you dear brethren there is nothing greater or nothing beautiful or nothing tastier than the volumes it really gives lot of encouragement really I am telling you whenever you see we have you have trials whenever you seem to be fallen you see in the path of God. It really strengthens us. It really upholds us and makes us strong in the Lord. So definitely. So in coming days, we'll try to do as much better as possible. I'll be sharing this uh, link. Okay, you try to uh, when you are free. Okay, uh, as uh, uh, we are sharing the questions, you can study the question and read the answers. Okay, take take no, not so much of burden to complete it very fast. Take time. Okay, take time because uh, to understand this language, it will take time for you. So my suggestion, as we have studied these three or four paragraphs today, after the class you have one week time, just go through these four paragraphs in between uh, uh, this week's time so that you can understand it and uh, meditate. Meditate means whenever you are free, whenever uh, 
uh, some other thoughts come to your mind which are worldly you know if you need to overcome it just try to think the points which uh, we have spoken the brother has spoken so what will happen that will help you to uh, overcome uh, you see uh, the worldly thoughts and uh, try to implement with god's uh, thoughts and it will always remain in you okay uh, anything else gopal brother joel brother romi sister amar brother anything else brother uh, the question you said uh, is it barian questions yeah it's a barian uh, question it's, it's a volume it's a question on the volumes uh, there is a separate booklet called the barian questions right uh, the same question same 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 uh, okay. so it is very difficult to get those booklets today because i don't think this printing is there they stop the printing at all so i share this website on the what do you say our group so please everybody try to uh, I'll go through these questions okay okay brother okay anything uh, so we'll end with a word of prayer uh uh before that on romi sister hope uh, today's class was useful yes brother it's very okay useful. good okay. amar brother hope it was useful easy to understand yes brother good okay we uh, are we are learning very slowly don't worry sir <laughs> slow and steady that is important see learning fast is not so important learning clearly even though it is slow okay as days goes on you will pick it up not a issue think about the basic classes initially how we spoke to the basic classes to you but did you understand everything completely no first time nobody understands 100% exactly but as the revisions went on you see as the brother kept on revising some things so the picture came mm -hmm. to you clearly so you need to get the complete picture it will take time not a issue at all you are just babes you are all just only 2 years old it will take time god god will give plenty of opportunity to you all no need to worry okay so be steadfast in the truth okay okay brother thank you so much okay uh joel brother nothing brother okay but uh, were you able but... to understand follow it yes right? brother easily okay good okay then gopal brother and ashish brother i think okay amar brother amar brother amar brother is also okay okay mm. tell amar brother <laughs> yes brother okay hunja okay. amar brother kai sa bhannu bhayo nepali bhannu bhayo ni hunja mai ta you can express sir <laughs> one thing is that we like uh, i especially like uh, brother and to express themselves okay usually we take uh, volumes in a question format we i put questions pull out the questions pull out the answers from them so interaction is more pleasant and more fruitful and uh, more to be expected you are all new so don't uh, think that uh, the, if you tell wrong answers brother will think something nothing no issues so you can express yourself uh, you can express your view we'll try to go together okay or okay. brother kai cha bhannu pani ओपनिंग प्रेयर वोट मुनाइट ओके गोपाल ब्रदर कैन यू ऑफर प्रेयर Okay, brother. Let's pray. So I give permission, brother. I'm going to allow you to watch around the show. I need to play. It's the most awesome, ah, some of the many awesome, ah, study. Go on, go on. It's the play. I'm going to say that go on, boy. I'm going to say that. Ah, just say me. Ah, volume six, like ah, here they show a new creation. Go on, man. I'm going to say that. 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 हमी धन्यवाद चढ़ा चाहो हमी ब्रदराजू वहाँ हमी सरल तरीका बुझा भैरा सब कुछ का लगी धन्यवाद भर चाहूँ जी पढ़ा कुरा ती कुछ अज रिविजन कर अज ये कुरा गाड़ी को निति तबला सहायता कर धन्यवाद संपूर्ण कुछ तब का हाथ में संपन्न छो तेज सुख सुख चाहिए हमें 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 हमें